Hello everybody, greetings once again from Chennai, India. Today I am very briefly going to present a new sign for an old disease, very old disease. Scabies is undoubtedly the commonest skin disease encountered in hospital practice in most urban cities in India. Globally, about 100 to 200 million people have scabies, especially those in tropics and in low income groups. The incidence is much lower among private patients and clinic consultations. Obviously, due to better personal hygiene, bathing facilities, and good nutrition. The great cephalologist John Pinchman Stokes said, Scabies is at once the easiest and the most difficult condition to diagnose in clinical practice. Easy to diagnose in its classical presentation. Whole family being affected, lesions in the typical distribution, namely papules and pustules in the webs of the finger, the front of the wrist, points of the elbow, nipples, genitals and so on. The diagnostic feature in the clinical diagnosis is the demonstration of the burrow produced by the pregnant female mite as she digs into the stratum cornea to lay her eggs, appearing as linear or curved elevations of the skin can be easily demonstrated with India ink preparations. But more often than not, the burrows are scratched off by the time the patient comes to us. As final year medical students, we used to look forward to being shown a case of scabies as a spotter in the medicine clinicals, where we got full marks for the correct diagnosis. But some mischievous examiners would go further and ask for the full name of the parasite, namely Sarcoptis scabii bar hominis and go still further and say, how many legs has this parasite got? Which used to stump even the brightest of the candidates. Contrary to the classical scabies, the patients presenting at our private practice can be very puzzling. One such is scabies of the clean, wherein though the patient may complain of widespread itching, this Remember that widespread itching in scabies is not due to the parasite but due to sensitization to derivatives of the parasite. So visible lesions may be few and far between and these can be easily missed if the patient is not fully stripped and examined. Likewise, scabies in infancy can also present a conundrum because of the involvement of the scalp, palms and sores and the face areas which are not usually involved in classical scabies. Also, in infants, the skin gets eczematized and the focus is always on the eczema and not on the scabies. Another variant which is epidemiologically very important and it may masquerade as exfoliative dermatitis is crusted scabies, formerly known as Norwegian scabies, found amongst immunosuppressed patients like HIV, and lepromatous leprosy patient. This variant is not to be missed because the number of mites on the skin of these patients can exceed 1 billion as opposed to the less than the dirty dozen found in ordinary scabies. So crusted scabies is highly contagious. The diagnosis of scabies is based on history and clinical examination more than 90% of cases. A dictum worth bearing in mind is in any patient presenting with generalized pruritus, never let scabies sink below the diagnostic horizon. Newer approaches for the diagnosis like PCR, ELISA, these are now being tried out in the West, but these are beyond the scope of resource poor settings. Some useful old clinical signs at the bedside of the patient or even today quite useful. One is RD sign. Involvement of the points of the elbow, the 
the crusted lesions are said to be highly suggestive of scabies. The second is Denny's sign, an infant in a crib vigorously rubbing its soles together is almost pathognomonic of scabies. Recently, three practitioners from Belgium have written an article in the International Journal of Dermatology, January 2021, and they have proposed a new sign. They found that a significant proportion of patients with scabies were found to be scratching themselves while the history was being elicited or when they were being clinically examined. This finding they found was statistically much more than in patients with other itchy conditions like eczema, urticaria, senile pruritus, lichen planus, and so on. So these authors suggest that this simple observation of a patient scratching himself or herself during the consultation warrants an in-depth search for scabies. If we miss the diagnosis of scabies in its early stages, it is likely to become a seven-year itch, a movie in the 60s made famous by late Marilyn Monroe. So simple, bedside, clinical observations and signs always endure.